Hey there, Magnus Academy students! This is your Headmaster Professor Magnus, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. Last time we finished up the Epitaph Sea and met Boomerang and Lucide, who uh, were just testing us. And, you know, they're like, come back when you're stronger or whatever. They're, they'll come back when we get stronger. Uh, there's a guarantee to that. But, um, also, um, before this episode, I went to pick up some items from the Epitaph C, so you'll be seeing what I've been getting on the, uh, probably on the right side of the screen and whatnot, because, um, you know, I'm not gonna remember exactly what I got. So while I'm showing that off, I wanna show you guys something that you guys are probably gonna be pissed off with me about. I have 200 2,309,074 gallon. How was that? Well, thanks to the talisman, <laughs> um, you know, we're probably not going to be getting that good of money for quite a long time, or for quite a while, so what I did is I did the duplication sheet, and if you do that, that is 9,000 gala each, so, you know, sell 254 of those, and then there you go. Um, I'm also going to try to use all my lucky cards as well from this point on, so that, uh, you know, we're, so that everything will be fine. So, um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and use up these apples. So let's see, Cecilia can use that, Agile Apple, uh, Rudy can use that, Mystic Apple. We're gonna give those to Jack because of Heal Blade, Power Apple, we're gonna give to Rudy because Rudy's gonna need them more than Cecilia will ever, ever need them. So, what are we gonna do with all this money? Well, we can max out all of our arms and be broken. I mean, because we're almost towards endgame, in a sense. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up three evil rings. Um, I'm gonna pick up one more holy ring. I'm gonna pick up three thunder rings. And what the heck was that? <sighs> um, I'm not gonna bother with the Geo Rings, I'm gonna get one more Aqua Ring, and I'm not gonna bother getting any more rings. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more items. And let's go ahead and max out on pretty much everything with items. <laughs> so, yeah! I hope you guys won't be too mad at me. I'm not going to duplicate the um the duplicators. So those are the that's the only thing I'm gonna be doing, I promise viewers. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to uh Jane's house because we need to turn in that item that we found in there in the epitaph C, which was the the rune drive. So, it's been a while since I touched this game, well, like, almost a week, but, <laughs> I've just been busy with a lot of stuff, so, let's see, hmm, you were supposed to today's party, huh? So let's talk to Nikolai, and, you found the missing rune drive, I never thought that it would be hidden at Epitaph. I'll explain about the rune drive tomorrow, you must come, my daughter is waiting, we have a little banquet plan for you. Oh boy, oh boy, food! Um, yum, 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 yum. But, um, I think we can still upgrade our arms. Let's talk to the Armmeister. Yes, we can. So, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade our rocket launcher. will be good, and then I'm going to increase the rocket launcher's accuracy just a little bit, so that should be at, hmm, that is fine right there, and then I'm going to increase the bullets up to 12. So, let's go ahead and take care of that, and, you know what, that's all I'm going to do. I'm probably going to max out all of the arms when I get them off screen, but in the meantime, nah. So, you know, a nice little party going on, so, yeah, it would be awesome if every day was a party. Aww. Hmm, 
Oh my, Jane. I mean, um, <clears throat> really, you, uh, you want to talk, talk with us? Okay, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, no, not yet, McDolan. Let's talk with, uh, here. It's time like these, you should get a little crazy. And if you get any alcohol poisoning, come to me. I will help you get that done. <laughs> I will take out all the, the poison from the alcohol out of you. <laughs> so, oh, so it works as a pair. So that's how it works. And that will help the earth go up. Okay, cool. Very cool. Okay. So you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, wrap up the party and call it a night. Please wait a minute. Your beds will be ready a little later. And we go to bed in the middle of the night. I'm walking in my sleep. No. No. <laughs> I feel bad making you hang out with me just because I couldn't sleep. I didn't wake anyone, did I? Isn't it silly that Calamity Jane became a treasure hunter for a bunch of orphans? Nope. Thanks, Rudy. I knew I could count on you. We used to live in Malama, but we spent all our money taking care of the kids. Then how were you able to give me two million fucking bucks, lady? <laughs> we drifted all the way to this desolate place, and here we are. I hate this kind of life, but what can I do? I am my father for giving people false hope. Kindness and care have no place in this wasteland. It gives people just to have it shattered, hope just to have it shattered by reality. That's cruel. You're making this journey to protect your guy, right? Why? Why are you doing this? For money? For pain? To be a king like in the fairy tales? Any of those reasons are fine. Just don't tell me it's for some noble cause like saving the world. I just like it when kindness is just thrown at anyone. Kind of should be personally valued and expressed only to those you care about. Otherwise, I'm hurt that you saved me just because you felt obliged to. Sometimes, I think a day will come when dawn will no longer appear. Promise me, Rudy. Promise me that you're risking your life because you love Phil Guy. That is the reason why you're sacrificing so much, right? If not, I'll never be able to like you do good times. And with that... James words steep inside Rudy's heart, and we get the Protector Force ability for Rudy. And what are you doing here? I tend to run into these situations a lot. I came here this morning because I have a matter to discuss with the pretty lady. Could you kindly deliver the room drive rumor to be in your mansion to us within three hours? If you don't deliver it, we'll slaughter everyone inside in order to find it. Do we understand one another? I'll assume you'd make the right decision. <laughs> well, we can't just sit here. I must go wake everyone up. In the past, I excavated the other rune drive from another ruin. Just in case, I hid the rune drive in the sacred shrine to the south of the forest. The sacred field prevents monsters from entering the shrine. We will evacuate everyone to the shrine. Please watch over the village for us. Okay, please watch over the people of the village. Gotcha! Hmm. This sounds a little suspicious. I could be wrong. It's too quiet. Are the demons late? Hmm. Yeah, Jack, that it it is a little bit sketchy. Um, let's go ahead before we uh, head out of town. Let's save. Now yeah, let's get out of here. Advertise it enough. What's going on? They didn't know where the room drive was. 
That's why they appeared in this village and... What? What for? The normal reaction to the threat of an, an imminent attack is to evacuate. The safest place? Where would that be? The pyramid that controls the dimensions is in the force itself. Oh, is that? It's always one step ahead. Uh-oh. Then we better head over there and warn everyone. So let's go ahead and uh, just take a short little trip to the Sacred Shrine. It sounds like we're too late. This is not good at all. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and head to the left over here. And let's go ahead and use that one last duplicator key that we have. Because... Whoops. Shoot. I did not mean to do that. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, so... There's a treasure in the barrel, so... That's why we want to go to left and get another duplicator. So... Let's go ahead and get more treasure here. And... We need to talk to these people. Oh god, rats, really? <laughs> Why possible? It feels like we've lived through this. Like I was saying, it feels like we've been through this before. So, let's go ahead and keep talking to these people. Yeah, Quartzine's gonna be fine. Hmm. It seemed that the evacuation was organized to me. Hmm. Okay, it looks like we have new enemies, Board Lord, so we're gonna go ahead and just have Jack do the lucky card. Because we need to start using those up. I've just been saving them for boss fights because, you know, they get good to give. And you're gonna cast a Remedy, which does healing. And he's gonna try to put us to sleep. And shoot. This is not good. Really? Really? Game? I'm hoping this wakes us up. Please wake us up. Nope. Looks like we're sitting ducks. I forgot that we can do that. This is not good. This is not good at all. Just our luck today, the Let's Play curse has gotten to us in this game. Ay, 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 why, why, oh, why? Please wake the frick up! Of course you're not gonna wake up! Oh, freaking course not! Can you run away though? I doubt it. Well, Jack is dead. And of course, Condition Green had to freaking... Just 
lovely. This is not good. Okay, at least they don't hit hard. There are more magic he heavy on everything else, so... You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use Rocket Launcher, and then I'm gonna have Jack... Uh, heal Lady Rudy, and then Cecilia can... Heal Jack. can just die already. You may have plenty of, uh, golden clips so I can just refresh everything and I have plenty of magic carrots. Okay. And not to kill that orc lord off. There we go. Okay. Much better. But they gave good XP. I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh, let's see. Do that. And then. Okay. So, she was saying something about the dimensions. What dimensions? Hmm. Monsters went through. Okay. Oh, Saint Centaur, that's what it was. Man, I feel like it. Jerk for not remembering. Okay. So, you know what? Before anything else happens, um, I'm gonna end the episode for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Wild Arms. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and some comments in the comment section below. And follow me on all forms of social media. And if you guys are new to my channel and want to join Magus Academy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that being said, this is your headmaster, Professor Magus, signing off, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.